This program contains views and opinions that may not be suitable for all audiences. Audience discretion is advised. Welcome to Thespian Talk, everybody. I am your host, Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and my co-host this week is the Omega. Hello, I am not ranting. No, but I probably will be at some point, so, you know. Yes, after getting a look at some of these news stories this week, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so... So, how, how have you been? I've been okay. I'm getting ready to go visit the Hagen, which will be on Wednesday, so... Sweet! Looking for that. <laughs> yes, I, yes, be sure to give Hagen a great big hug from me. I will all be like, Gomer says, blah! And then yes. I'll... Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like glom. That that is, if if you talk to me through text, that seems to be one of my go-to things. A lot of times with people I'm more familiar with, it's just I will just glom, just. Glomp. You used to hear the word glom a lot more, like ten years or years ago, and I've noticed it's falling out of favor. Yeah. Have you that, noticed that? That is that is something I never. Huh. You don't see that very much. I guess I'm one of the few holdouts. Is like no glom is still relevant. Damn it. I still glomp, God damn it. Yes. Oh, glomp to the day I die. You damn kids in your Xbox Ones and, 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 and. Oh my God, think about it this way, you guys, everyone listening at home. At, there will come a point in your life when the current internet slang will sound to your children and grandchildren like 23 skidoo. Yes. That, that, and glomp may be reaching that point. Like, seriously, uh, you can raffle, but you'll sound like you're a hepcat. Yes. <laughs> and don't don't get us started on the raffle copters. Yeah. Back when I was in Nam from the raffle, uh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but oh my god, just, just, I, 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 I thought raffle copter was stupid even back when it first came out, so it's like, yeah. So what does that say about me? Yeah, it's just the way, it's just how words are, you know. Yeah, they how come, they, they go. They come and go, and, and Cypher would have a field day with it, because they're a linguistics nut. I <laughs> And I need, I need to, to mention it next time I talk to, to Cypher. I, I really think that they should write some kind of some kind of book about internet linguistics, because it is pretty fascinating. Yeah, well, if, well Cypher, if you're listening to the show, do it. Do, do it. it. Write a book. And and odds are I will have linked them to this. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> because because we bring them up and, and we talk about them in a good way, in a good way. Cypher... We talk about everybody behind your back except we put it on the internet. Yes, which is not really behind your back because because it's out there and anybody who's anybody can click it and anybody who's anybody who's anybody should click it because because we have some good stuff. I was making a a PME analogy. Oh God! Don't. Oh, the internet's behind my back, except for in public. I know, right? Ah. Uh, I don't know speaking... why I'm using my my friend Cliff's voice for it. Though. Cliff <laughs> says no. Oh, which it's by the way, if you if if you guys out there who listen, if you if you're noticing a difference in mic quality or whatever, I've had to switch headsets again because they're, they're they're I've got a few. They're all kind of getting a little old. Which is why I actually, which is one of the reasons why I have a Patreon page. Yes, I'm going to go right into whoring myself so I can get it out of the way. Um, but, you know, you donate, you know, you pledge some money per month and it, and it helps me improve things, get some better equipment, upkeep the equipment I do have, better the site, because I want to get the upgrade to where, um, uh, to where we can actually upload videos without having to worry about uh, web space. He will twerk just for you. Seriously. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Yes, I will twerk just for you. Oh God, All maybe. The twerking. <laughs> there you go. Every day, the twerk and, channel. And my girlfriend's sitting there like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she might like it. Uh, I don't know. She's like twerking, you say? Hold yes. on, PayPal.com. <laughs> what was that link? Again? No, I'm just kidding. Nah, no, no, no. I'm no. kidding. No, no, but but in all seriousness, if you if you guys want to toss money at me to help improve productions and the site and everything um uh, patreon.com slash gomer21 double x it goes towards the site goes towards equipment and and if you donate uh well donate i say but pledge 20 dollars a month or more you get ad space so and from what i've what i've seen around the web that you can't beat that for ad space 
Add space is great. You could you could take out an ad about anything. Yeah, well, obviously it can't be illegal, unfortunately, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not like, you know, drive through prostitutes or anything like that. No, although that would be awesome. <laughs> that, could... No, that would, that, how would that be awesome? Because, uh, are you supposed so even if, like, McDonald's is jammed up, you're still going to be out of the line in, like, five minutes, you know? You just can't go that fast. No, 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 no. You drive through, you, you order the prostitute, you pick her up. And then you go somewhere else, and then you bring her back. That, that would oh, have to be a pickup oh, line and then a return line. Or it could be like a, like a car hop, like back in the 50s, you know. Oh, there you go. Yeah. A car hop. You know, Sonic. That, that, would, that would be a, a good type of restaurant to turn in, into like like a drive through prostitute restaurant. Yeah, you know what? The guy that owns Hooters could buy it out. And... Mm-hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> but, but before we do that, we'd have to make prostitution legal everywhere. Because I don't think everybody wants to drive to Nevada for this. Yeah. Although I would. I've only been a little bit through Nevada. So. I flew over Nevada on my way to Arizona one time. I spent a week in Phoenix once. Yeah, I actually drove through Las Vegas when I was driving a couple of years ago, you know, driving trucks a couple of years ago. And what I saw wasn't bad, although my main remembrance of it right now is holy hell, the traffic. Well, I, apparently Vegas is really fun if you've got the money for it. You know, and you're just going to, like, you know, drink and see shows and stuff like that, you yeah. know, because I'm not really into gambling, but I have coworkers who occasionally, like, they and their friends will have, like, a girls week in Vegas. And I'm like, all right, you know, whatever. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it. I, I, Whenever I do anything, any kind of gambling, I'll usually set a limit for myself, and that's what I'll play with. And once yeah, that's like, gone, that's gone. I know a lot of a lot of old ladies that they'll go down Atlantic City for the weekend. And they'll just take $100 because that's all they really care to lose. Mm-hmm. See, I would totally do Vegas if they had really big, like, professional skee-ball ranks. With, like, <laughs> you know, no, I love skee-ball, but now I'm, you know, an adult. So if you go to the ones, you know, at an arcade, they're for kids, and it's, like, no challenge. But I want, like, professional level, like and, – and see, that's the thing is it would be a dollar. So, like, you put in a dollar coin, but your tickets would get you, like, super awesome prizes, like, actual useful prizes. So okay. it's like, so it's like an adult Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, it's so it's like Dave and Buster's, except better than that. Sweet. Ah, uh, I would I would go get, to a place like that. Get on that Vegas. Yes, you know. Vegas and everywhere else too. Uh, we we need more of that, you know, we, and we need we need more of that to be legalized because we don't we don't need our um uh, our legal morals, if you will, to be derived from a book that not everybody is going to believe in. <coughs> Bible, excuse me. I mean, like, I, I can see why gambling is illegal in some states because if – because the state wants a cut. And I don't see a problem with that. Like in Pennsylvania, the lottery benef- – it, it says the Pennsylvania lottery benefiting older Pennsylvanians. I'm totally cool with that, you know? Yeah. I mean it's your money, you know? It's – you have a ball with that, you know? Yeah. That's what I have to say. Yeah, and, and here in Florida, we have like the lottery and the scratch-offs and everything. That goes towards the education department. Yeah. How much of it actually makes it in is debatable, <laughs> but uh, that's where it's supposed to go, if I'm if I'm remembering right. Alabama, three miles north of me, they don't like it. In fact, there was there was a uh, I, I call it a casino because that's really what it was, but uh, it was called a, an electronic bingo place or whatever. Yeah, electronic bingo. Right. How do you play electronic bingo? Is it like guess... a whole bunch of like robotic old ladies sitting there? I mean, like. What's going on? <laughs> Robotic old ladies playing bingo. No, not bingo. Yes, all the old ladies that got converted into Cybermen. Oh god, that would be hilarious. A doctor is coming. I don't care. I only need one more to get bingo. <laughs> and that was a Dalek, but you know what I mean. Oh, there sh- there okay. needs to be somebody needs to draw Daleks and Cybermen playing bingo, okay. and the person calling the numbers has to be Dav- Davros or the Master. Mm-hmm. He looked like the master's got, but it's like, he got this look on his face. Cause, you know, not what's his face, the young master, like Roger Delgado, just kind of like, B-17. Oh, I got bingo. Yes, I bet you did. I used to be a time lord once. <laughs> I used to be feared in all the galaxies. It was me, the master, the whole time, running bingo. Yes. <laughs> that, would be, that would be great. Somebody ah, get on that. All yes. of our... Web people out there, you, you know who you are. Yes, get on that. That would be awesome. But 
But no, it was, it was electronic bingo uh, game gaming place or whatever. It was not called a casino, but the the people and and I say people, I mean those like in government were yeah. were all over this place. They they it wasn't in any city jurisdiction, so it's not like the city. I think the closest one there was Dothan, could could really have much of Dothan. a say in it. Yes, it is called Dothan. That sounds like a planet from Doctor Who. Hey, there you go. Oh yes, very <laughs> Dothan Five, I believe. Yes. <laughs> Oh, but not, but they just kept pulling in the troopers and everything like this is legal. This is this is illegal. This is not. This is, it's like it's like why why make it illegal? That is stupid. Well, I'll tell you why. It's and it's it's pretty simple. It's because if it's if it's not the state doesn't have its finger in the pie, then you know they'll make it illegal until they can figure out a way to do that. You know. Yeah, it's called taxes. You have enough of a finger in the pie. They can pay taxes just like everybody else. Well, it's just like how some states just want to cut. Like in Pennsylvania, it's if you want to buy liquor, you go to the state store. Yeah, I've I've actually heard about that. Uh, how- it's, and it's better too. It's not there. There's a lot of ones that are open on Sundays now. About ten or so years ago, they changed the law so a certain ones could be open on Sundays. So you can get like I could go and stop by the one in Exton's open till five. But if you want liquor like wine and, and spirits, then you have to go to the state store. But if you want malt beverage and beer, you have to go to a beer distributor, which makes it sound really communist. Like you're like, oh, yes, comrade, we'll get in line for beer. Yeah. It also makes it sound like it's free, which is not. But oh, um, no. some places will have licenses like a, like some pizza places will have – there'll be a carryout. So they can sell up to like you know a six-pack or a 12-pack of beer or malt beverage. Huh. Well, then, I, 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 I wouldn't – that, that's another thing that makes me wonder is like why do why do we have to have this ban on alcohol sales on Sunday in I'm, I'm gonna venture a guess and say most of the country I don't know I guess it's the idea that because you maybe it's like a farm thing like because you don't aren't doing anything that day it's the Sabbath like not the Sabbath but it's like the day of rest that you should be it's so you don't sit around drinking instead of going to church maybe I don't know if anybody knows right show well, if that's oh, the shoot, case, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's your line. <laughs> that's your well, that time. is okay. That is okay. You can, you can, you know. Either it, it, I'm not the only one who can say right into this show on this show. Everybody can say that. If you, if you ever have, if you ever have two on, you have to tell him that all that his style has spawned. Yes. <laughs> I still oh, say yeah. that because I he should say it on his show. Yes. Because that would that would be awesome. I still want to get to on this show. I tried to get him a couple of years ago, but this schedules. Yeah, so do I. I, I need to. Although poke he's him. he's moving. Like he he tweeted this thing that he's going to start two cents again in a few months because he's moving. So yes, moving to Greeny Country, also known as Colorado. Oh. Oh yeah, right. Yes, because thought there is legal. Oh, and I call I everybody. Yeah, I don't remember if I actually put it. Okay, okay, I did put it. I did put it in the news, so we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, I do want to hit to the shoutouts real quick before we go on to the news, though. I don't have any like newer ones to put out there, so I'm going <gasps> to shout out to somebody that I haven't shouted out to in a while, and that is going to be Andrew Dickman. Dickman, Andrew dude. Dickman. If you have not been checking out his artwork or his videos, go check them out. He's just – look up Andrew Dickman on Twitter – not on Twitter, but on YouTube rather. AWD Twit on Twitter if you want to go find him on there, and I think he has a link to his Tumblr somewhere around here. It's not immediately up on my screen, so I don't so I don't have a reference for it. But Why? Isn't he taking commissions right now? I, he might be. You have to check him out. But I know he's also uh, put together a Mega Woman collaboration, where okay. you basically rule 63 every Mega Man robot master and character known to man. Oh, well, at least from the classic series. He's not doing like Mega Man X, Mega Man Legends, etc. Just classic Mega Man. And I, I haven't seen Mega, you know, Fem Inker yet, but I've seen Quick Woman, and Quick Woman looks really good. Those are the two I'm really looking forward to seeing. Oh, but the other people that have done stuff, there's like Needle Woman, who, who they the the artists gave her the uh, spiky breasts of doom, which fits, right which which fits because you know Needle Man has the like big fucking needles on his head. So I was to be like, oh, he has a needle dick. Okay, that gives sense. <laughs> you changed well, it up on me, and I wasn't ready. 
Yeah. Well, no. Well, no. The original Robot Master. That there was. Keep in mind, this is this this was from a game that's meant to be marketed to you know families and and to everybody, not His just to penis adults. So. Was huge. Yeah. And now there's going to be some art. There probably is some artwork out there with Needle Man with a needle dick. You know that there is. If the, if you even had to think, oh, is there porn of this? Of course, there's porn of this. Of course. There's always there's always porn of this. Yeah. There's there, there's porn of just about everything out there. There's even por- there's even porn of your wife out there. There uh, is, oh. and there's 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 one that's that's it's a story, and it's porn of me too. Uh-oh. And so who was it? It was well, this was years ago. I think it was Zed, and he was like, I didn't want to read it because I felt like I was like you know barging in on your private life. I was like, me too. <laughs> oh, there's, oh my... yeah, there's, there's it's out there. Yeah, my co-hosts have more porn of porn of them out there than I do of me. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. I can write my own if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I haven't done that in years. Oh, um, but uh, speaking speaking of, of which, there was one you know, uh, this Fight Club thing. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you handle it because I think you probably know a little bit better than I do. But uh, by a, uh, I forget the artist where there was actually like hopless. Oh hopless right, hogging. yeah, yeah. It, it it she looked good. Lewis looked like all ripped, like oh, and mm-hmm. Lewis and Brad. Looked okay. Brad was making a face, but Doug looked weird, and I hate to say it, Kyle did not look much like Kyle. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to admit that. A couple of them, I'm like, wait, who the hell are these guys supposed to be? I was like, wait, why is, is Kyle Doug? so beefy? Oh wait, that's Doug. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle. Extra I, beefy. Yeah, Kyle. From what I've, I've seen of him in person, he, he, he he's got. Some build to him, but it doesn't look, look like he's like. Look up the held hard. Prowse <laughs> <laughs> held hard. <laughs> yeah. Extreme. <sighs> he's tall. Like the first time I met him, I was like, "Oh, you're tall," and he's like, "How did you think I was?" It's like I don't know. You know, the internet. I only ever see you from like mid chest up. So. Yeah. Well, well, then again, you're you're also short. Everybody's tall to you. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean. And, and 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 I have to admit, there are some people that I was a little surprised. Like when I met Becky in, at Magfest, you know, she said she was shorter than me, and I said, okay, you know, she she is almost as tall as me in in terms of just height. I think she's just a few inches shorter than me, but you know, it works. And it's still awkward when you try and dip kiss somebody for the first time and they're not expecting it. What? <laughs> yeah, we laughed. Too bad nobody was taking pictures. I was like, it's, that would have been hilarious to just have on. I feel like a lot less people took pictures this past year. Yeah, I didn't take too many. Unfortunately, some of the ones I did get, if you, I don't remember if I put them up on Facebook, but they just, this the quality is horrible. I feel really bad about it too. It's like I, only t- I was gonna this year. I was like, oh, I'm gonna take pictures this year, and then of course I was so busy and I didn't get around to it. Yeah, I ended up doing more video, mainly for the Nerf War, mm. and those turned out really well. So put them all together, put some different music to it, and it was great. <laughs> mm. Oh, so uh, so yeah. Anyways, my shout out, Andrew Dickman, go check him out. Uh, do you have any? Uh, uh, offhand, I should. I think that you should go check out the fine fellows at IsleofRangoon dot com. You know why? Because they're funny. They're just fucking funny. Mm-hmm. So there. There you go. <laughs> and with that, we are going to head on to our news. Uh, it, it's it's going to start relatively mild, and then it's going to just head dive into what the fuck. And All the news way. that's fit to facepalm. Yes. Uh, first one comes out of Little Rock, Arkansas. Hey, that's where two's from. Well, Arkansas, at least. Arkansas. Yes. Middle school teacher in Little Rock, Arkansas, is waiting is awaiting punishment after accidentally showing her class a video of herself performing sex acts on her fiance. I yeah. heard about this. <laughs> yes. And yeah. she want to know what the first thing I thought was? What? Who still uses a VCR? <laughs> That's the first thing I thought. Oh God. The unnamed teacher at Forest Heights Middle School admitted to the mistake, saying the homemade tape accidentally got mixed up with her lesson notes and apologized. One father, Nicholas Tulsarin, told the local news station, My son says she was performing sex acts. My heart goes out not only to my son, but to other kids in the classroom. He said he also wants something done. School leaders said it was a mistake and certainly not planned, and that they are working to find the appropriate disciplinary action. It was a mistake. All right. Yeah, and- if it's a mistake, there's not really much you can do. 
Yeah, it's like, you know, it's like, oops, you know, and, and it happens. It, it was like irresponsible, I guess, but you can't really say it was malicious, you know? Yeah. You know, and, 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 and you know what, I, I've, you know, some teachers, they probably don't have time to organize their own homes very well. And for whatever reason, the, the porn tape got mixed up with their lesson plans and it's like, okay, we're going to have you watch this cartoon. <laughs> oh, do it me proper. What? <laughs> But see, now, if you hadn't been using a VCR, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Maybe. Or maybe not. You so. could always mislabel a file. Yeah, that's true. So there, there are ways it could be messed up, but the, the whole the – whole, my heart not, goes out not only to my son but other kids in the classroom. It's like, really? Accidentally seeing your teacher get it on with her fiancé is, is cause for that? The, the, well, it, I mean, you should say my heart traumatic. goes out to them if it's like a death or something like that. Yeah, this like, is not a death. It's, it's, maybe his heart went out to his son because his son was in the back and didn't couldn't see it in time. Like maybe, <laughs> he only saw, maybe he only saw the one boob before she turned it off. I don't know. You don't know what's going on there. Maybe. And these kids are in middle school. These are middle schools. Most of the, most of them have probably seen a porn magazine at least. At oh my god, time. middle school kid. Like okay, when I was little, uh, we back in the jury, you know, we didn't have the internet, so like. You would occasionally see, like, oh my gosh, a tit in National Geographic, mm -hmm. you know? And But kids these days, they have such access to, uh, like, you don't even have to have, like, a membership at a website. All you have to do is just Google search boobs. I mean, seriously, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. In fact, in fact, I'm, I'm going to do what Holly normally does when we're on one of these shows when, and something needs to be researched. I'm going to Google in, right now, boobs, and I'm going to go to images. Fur within you one, sac two, you three, four, so much five, for six. You know, there are a lot of boob pictures. None of them naked, but you can see a lot of boobs. None of them yeah, are naked. Yeah, but I bet if you tweak that a little bit, you'd probably find something. Oh, probably. And out of all of these examples within like one, well, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, within fifteen uh, entries, there's man boobs. Oh no. <laughs> And it's just it's just like one of these beefy wrestler guys. No one but, intended for this to happen. No, but but yeah, so boobs, you won't see them naked, but you will see them. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, speaking of feminine stuff. This next one, I put this in here <laughs> only because of how it was written. I will admit <laughs> this full 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 disclosure. I read this one already. Maybe feeling a bit too carefree tempted this dude to allegedly swipe feminine hygiene products. But always remember, stealing something is no way to stay free. Mm. Jesus Diaz is accused of stealing about $300 worth of feminine hygiene items from an East Naples Walmart. By the way, this is Florida. Take a shot. Cops hauled him to a new pad. Jail. Hopefully, he'll make a fresh start of things when he's released from the pokey. Kotex. Sorry. <laughs> I know exactly how this happened. I know exactly what was going on here. Uh-oh. His girlfriend or his wife said to him, you need to go and you need to get me these things while you're out. And he was so embarrassed, okay, that he did, he's like, how can I pay for this? How can I ever face the embarrassment? I'll just steal them. But... He didn't know which kind. He didn't know what version of which kind or what – he just kind of freaked out, and he could have called her. You know, He could have called her and said which kind, but then someone could have heard him. So he had to save himself the embarrassment and just shoplift hundreds of dollars worth of feminine hygiene products. That's exactly how this happened. Yeah, because he, he – I'm not even a guy, and I know that that's what was the way. You're probably right, and it's just because he thinks – he thought it was a threat to his masculinity. It's like, dude, you steal it, you get caught. Your masculinity is the least of your worries. Either that or he was bored because, you know, with Tampax, you can go horseback riding and swimming and play tennis. <laughs> but you know what I just realized is pretty much most of your audience is too young to understand why that's funny. Oh, Oh God. Uh, well, maybe not. Who knows? I, I, I do have – I like to think I have a good age range on my that's audience. True. so you know. you know why that's funny, right? Show. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you, no, you brought up, you know, could have called, but then, you know, the thing, there's a, there's a way around that one too. Texting. Texting That's is true. a thing. Or maybe, or maybe he didn't, maybe she told him, but he forgot. 
-hmm. And he didn't want to to piss her off by by bringing it up again. Yeah, which, you know what? I would risk it, dude. Just risk it, please. Just just, just fucking risk it. Because, you know, yeah, you you might have to take a hit to your beloved manhood, which, by the way, it isn't really. But here's the thing, though. Okay, here's the thing. It's not – I wouldn't – I'm going to stick up for this guy. Mm-hmm. In one small area. I wouldn't say it's a threat to his manhood. It's just plain embarrassing. I'm a girl, and I don't like buying, you know, I'll use a self-checkout because it's just embarrassing. No matter who you are, it's embarrassing. So it's not like a masculine-feminine kind of thing. It's just, I mean, maybe he feels the same way if he would have to buy, like, a modium or something like that, you know? It's just, if it embarrasses you, it embarrasses you. But yeah. don't steal it. Amen. Right. That, that, that is something we can agree on. Do not steal it. Oh, and speaking of do not steal, uh, (laughs) hello, Congress, specifically the House. Hi, guys. You crusty old white fuckers. You, 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 you pains in the ass. And don't say that. I'm sure there's at least one person of color in Congress somewhere. Well, sure, there's got to be. Well. Oh, well, okay. I, I I think I was a little too broad with Congress. Uh, the House Republicans, which, again, okay. there may be some black Republicans up in there, but either way. They have a new – they have a bold new strategy to attack Obamacare, which, by the way, I went to go and try and sign up on the government health care site you know, to get assistance or whatever. I couldn't get it. So, yeah. Hi. Did uh, you I'm, turn it off and turn it back on again? I tried, but no, still couldn't do it. Uh, Turn off. If, if you, power cycle the website. No, power, power cycle the government and then call us back. Yes. Let's power cycle the entire get, government. I can't, I can't get any democracy. Just power cycle the government. Oh, that's that's <laughs> poignant, though. Turn it off and turn it back on again and it'll work. Ooh, someone go. should use that. Yes. Buddy, pick that uh, up. Mm hmm. Pay me some more attention. Yes. There you go. But uh, they have a bold new strategy to attack Obamacare, which involves huge pay cuts for physicians unless Democrats agree to delay the law's individual mandate to buy insurance. So these guys are so against it they're going to they're going to force physicians to to take a pay cut. Now, here's the question that I have because I think maybe I'm understanding this wrong. Is it a decline in the amount that Medicaid and Medicare will reimburse? Because I really don't understand, like, if you're working for a hospital, you're working like St. John's, the hospital, mm-hmm. like, how can Congress tell your boss to give you a pay cut? Like, I, I, I really think maybe it's it, it's got to do something with reimbursement, because I was wondering, like, how could that be possible? Yeah. Well, OK. The next paragraph, I think, kind of goes over it. Oh. GOP leaders intend to vote on legislation this week, aides say, to delay the individual mandate in order to fund a doc fix that avoids a 24 percent pay cut to physicians under Medicare, which will automatically take effect on April 1st unless Congress acts. Inaction would disrupt the health care system in part by causing many doctors to stop accepting Medicare patients. So let's see. Um, let's see, to delay the individual mandate in order to fund a doc fix that avoids 24% pay cuts to physicians under Medicare. Why is that in place to begin with? Or, or, yeah, or is I was that wondering something about, like, threatening to put that this? in place? Probably a Republican. The I stra- think it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen exactly what happened last time where everyone's going to say you can't just hold everybody hostage and eventually the knuckle under but say they really won. Yeah. The strategy is unlikely to succeed and could backfire on Republicans. Delaying the individual mandate for a non-starter is a non-starter for the Democratic-led Senate and White House. By demanding a largely partisan unraveling of Obamacare in exchange for must-pass bipartisan legislation, they risk being blamed by seniors and the health care industry if the doctor pay cuts go into effect. When Republicans insisted on such an approach for federal funding last fall, the government shut down and they took most of the blame. Apparently, they don't learn their lessons. This bill represents a new low even for House Republicans, fumed Drew Hamill, spokesman for House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi from California, who who decried the plan, rather, as irresponsible and dangerous and promised it be a legislative dead end, just like almost anything else. But Republican leaders believe they have an ace up their sleeve. Let me pull out my ace, boy. Many of them expect Obama to delay the individual mandate uni- uni- unilaterally. Ugh, that's a word. 
before the first penalties come due as he has delayed other provisions of the law. So they argued that this proposal puts Democrats in a tough position, particularly given the unpopularity of the federal requirement to buy insurance. A full doc fix could be funded by putting it off several years, an aide said. So it's either pay for Obamacare or pay for the doctors. I'm, I'm, See, I'm guessing. This is why – what's one of the reasons why healthcare costs are so high? You don't go in until it's an emergency, and then they say, why didn't you come in sooner? You say, I was afraid it was going to be expensive. Mm -hmm. Like I can – once once I you know move over to Northern Ireland where I'll be going to school, if you're a student, you're automatically on the NHS, even if you're an you know, foreign exchange student. So pretty much I know I'm going to go for a checkup, and the doctor's going to be like, why didn't you do something about this? And I'll be like, oh, it might have been expensive. Yeah. I'm American. Yeah, which which is sad. I, I've I oh God. I, I, I kinda silently fumed myself yesterday about the whole healthcare system being like, you know, we shouldn't have to choose whether or not to pay rent or pay our medical bills. That should not be a choice. Yeah, that's the first thing that when something health wise goes wrong, I don't worry, oh my gosh, is this a sign of something worse? What if it'll kill me? I worry, oh my god, how much is it gonna cost me? Yeah, I, I admit I've not had a good checkup in you know since I was dry since I was driving for Schneider, and those you can get pretty much free whenever you need. So I haven't really had a checkup, and while it may not be as much, I don't exactly have a a constant income at this point. So it's not like I could just say here, fifty bucks or however much, check me out. I can't do that, and I can't get insurance because for me to buy insurance, at least as far as I've seen so far, is a couple hundred. Again, not a constant income here. Now, I don't I don't qualify under the federal plan because I already have insurance under my employer. Right. And that's and fine. It, they 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 jacked up the price. And they were like, "Oh, we had to jack it up because of Obamacare." And I used to work in in managed care and I was like, "You lying liars. You just realized you can get away with hiking the premium." And my company was like, "They they hiked it. It's not our fault." And I said, "I know that, you." Know? Yeah, it's the insurance companies. Yeah. And it's the companies, the agents. My my dad to 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 uh, put a little bit of clarity. My dad is an insurance agent. He doesn't set the prices. So if you go after anybody in insurance, leave the agents alone. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, but he my my dad gets a lot of the complaints too, and he's like, and he's he gets the same attitude as like, yeah, you know what? This this not really anything I could do, and there really isn't anything the agents can do. It's all the insurance companies and their greedy ass motherfucking grubby hands. Pretty much. Oh, but speaking of greed, well, I can't really say this is greed. Well, at least not monetarily greed, but greedy in a different way. Mm. Ah, this one's out of good old Kentucky. Lucky Kentucky. Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Sunrise Children's Services is working to recover from a massive budget shortfall after Kentucky churches withheld $7 million because the children's home had proposed ending its policy of discrimination against LGBT employees. Bill Smithwick, the then director of Children's Sun Sunrise Children's Services, I read well this week, proposed last year that the home allow employees who are openly gay and lesbian over fears that government funding would dry up. Which, hey, you know, you, you know, you, you, progress is progress no matter which way you go. Yeah. After churches in Kentucky began withholding their donations, Smithwick was forced to resign, and the children's home did not change its policy. But the damage was done. And Children, Sunrise Children's Services was already facing a $7 million budget shortfall, according to the local news station. The Kentucky Baptist Convention, which approves of the anti-LGBT policy, is now back in the Sunrise's corner. The convention has launched a fundraising drive telling churches that it's once again safe to donate. Now that our churches have, been, have confidence in the leadership of Sunrise and the direction of Sunrise, we'll give them the opportunity to reinvest this ministry to children. Sunrise, Sunrise. The Kentucky Baptist Convention Executive Director Paul Chitwood told the local news station. However, the policy of discrimination puts Sunrise at risk of losing government funding, which provides 85% of its $27 million budget. 85%, by the way. Mm -hmm. So you have 85 coming from the government. I'm, I'm just going to say 15 coming from the, the, the local churches and, and all of that. You... Odds are you will be fine uh, overall. I hate this country so much. Seriously, yeah. I fucking hate it. Like, 
I hear this kind of stuff every day, and it just gets to the point where I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? And no one gives a shit, and no one does anything. It'll get to the point where someone was just go w walking down the street with, you know, a Glock, capping people they think look gay, and everyone will be like, well, you know, he's got a right to his beliefs. I fucking can't wait to live in Europe, where you can't be a cock stain like this. Because guess what? If you go on a racist rant in public, you're probably going to get a citation. Because yeah. you know what? You can't do shit like that. You you hand out, you know, pamphlets about, oh, the evils of homosexuality, you will get arrested because you fucking can't do that over there. Oh, wow. Suck on uh, that. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. I, I, I hate this country so much, and I think I, I said this I, uh, on one show. I can't remember if it was yours or it was mine years ago. But you know what? The South is the worst part. The South and the Midwest, as far as I'm concerned, are not really parts of this country. They're just places where people happen to be. And I know people who might say, yes, but I live in that state and I'm a good person. That's great. And I'm sorry that your state sucks. But if you should move or you should try to improve things if you don't want to have that kind of reputation. I, I can agree with that as the guy who is living in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Fucking fucking do something if you don't want to be known as a redneck. Exactly. That's all that's always to it. Yes. And, and you mentioned, you know, the guy, you know, with the Glock and, and, and not getting in trouble for his religious beliefs or whatever. It's like, you know what? I know, you I may... know, that's, that's hyperbole, I know. But I, well, I no, 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 no. See, I, I, I was going to add on to that because, you know, if he's going to go around Glock gay people for just being gay because he believes it's wrong, well, I believe it's wrong for him to be cocking people in the head, so what's to keep me from beating him in the kneecaps? I'm just and, – and I know that this is a horrible thing to say. I'm just waiting for something – truly horrific to happen i'm waiting for a suicide bomber at a pride you know event i'm waiting for a pogrom in london or in london no, psh, shows where my mind is I'll, I'll be in london next week a pogrom in in russia you know where like people are massacred for everyone to be there finally be like holy shit this is really bad and the people that are doing this are horrible human beings that's what i'm waiting for and it's it's terrible because it's, it, I think it's going to be one of those things that takes lives. It's going to take some kind of horrible tragedy like that for mm -hmm. people to finally be like, wow, maybe we shouldn't be assholes. Yeah, instead of you know listening to the people who are actually seeing and know what the fuck is going on. But no, we can't listen to them because they think different than we do. <laughs> because, and, and, and Hagen, you know, and it's annoyed with me when I say this. There's a certain percent of the population of the world that are basically human livestock. Now, I don't mean intelligence-wise, because some people just aren't intelligent. You know, that it, it happens. Some people are special needs. That's fine. You know, but there's a certain kind of person that's both virulently, no, cannot virulently, incredibly stupid, but incredibly proud of that fact. Mm -hmm. And those are the people who go through life. Their lives are of no consequence. They're born. They have a name. They do things and stuff. They have emotions and memories, and they live out their lives. But ultimately, like, you know, 99.99% .99 of the population of the world, their lives are meaningless. But they go through it as nothing more than bipedal human livestock. They chew their cud, and they look out with a cow's eyes on the world. And that's really sad, actually. And, yeah, it, it's making me think they're, that those kinds of people are more easily led than a crowd on Captain Planet. <laughs> oh yeah oh god you get and, i know that you have me on the show to get me fired up like that oh yeah definitely you know that's, it's your plan yes that is that is why i include stories like this get you fired up and get it out there because you don't do it on your show which which is fine because you guys you guys are over I, on tig would take and oh my god the comments on some videos on uh, whatever. I mean, they're not really, really very vulgar, but I have to, I have to balance out my wife who will occasionally just. So then, anyway, the so and so director thinks and stuff, and I'm like, uh, I yeah. like pie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there has to be a balance, and 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 I like to think all of my co-hosts can balance me out pretty well in in a lot of things. So that depends. Do you like pie? I like pie. Well, there you go. There you go. Yes. Oh. And and for those who are wondering if you're hearing any rumbling behind me, it is currently thundering over here. It hasn't been affecting my internet connection, but a, you know. It's always it's always a thunderstorm down at yours. You must live in the Hyrule family graveyard. I must. I mean, I mean, you know, hey, maybe that's what maybe that's what the Hyrule family graveyard is based off of. It's based off of Grayscale, goddamn Florida. 
Not, not just Florida, it's just my hometown. <laughs> oh, but this next one. Oh my god. I, I, I put this in here and I am not looking forward to it, but it needs to come out. What it have really you done? Does. It's not what I've done. It's what this Springville, Springville teenager has done. Uh, I don't I don't remember what state this was from. Um, da -da 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 -da. But uh, this this teenager, he was seven. He's seventeen now. Um, when he was sixteen, he uh, fatally beat his girlfriend's twenty three month old son to death. Jesus. Yeah. And he told the judge Friday that he did not intend to kill the toddler. Never wanted to hurt him. I never wanted him to die, he's saying, in a tearful apology to his 19-year-old girlfriend in a Buffalo courtroom. I'm going to assume New York. Jurors who convicted Schumacher, the, the kid, of second-degree murder last month didn't buy it. And neither did State Supreme Court Justice M. William Buller. He said Ooh, that's a name right there. That's a big legal name. Yeah. You done pissed off the wrong person. Oh, yeah. William Baller. Mm -hmm. He sentenced Schumacher to 25 years to life in prison, the maximum punishment. At 16, you knew right from wrong, Baller told Schumacher, who turned 17 this week. You knew it was wrong to keep punching his head. Who does that? This is a baby. Yeah. I mean, okay, he, he's almost two years old. This, he, he, he's, he's like that... Transition between baby and toddler. You don't punch him in the head. It's just no, no, you don't do that. And the kid previously you testified. You do not punch the babies. No, even if you put a pillow on the back of the kid's head and punch it to stop him from crying, that's not how you get it, baby, to stop crying. You don't do that. Now, you give with all baby that said. Yeah. With all of that said, here is the major reason why I put this in here. Not only is this a horrible kid who is getting exactly what he deserves, and I am thankful for it. This line right here, when he was talking to his mother last July, while he was in the Erie County Holding Center awaiting trial. I'm a 16-year-old blonde. Probably all I have to do is cry, and they're going to feel sorry for me. And he was referring to the jury. It's just okay. No. Maybe that's maybe that's true if it was like a speeding ticket, you know? Yeah. But you, you punched a baby to death. That's no. There is going to be no sympathy for you. None. Zero. I have about as much sympathy for you as I do for Fred Phelps being on his deathbed. I know. I heard about that. Yeah. I I, I had to tie it in somewhere. But there's no sympathy for it's you. Not, it, and the it, fact that you think, okay, okay. never said, blessed are the baby punchers, ever. No. Ever. Never said No. It. No. And you know what? You know, it, it, it shows that, you know, dude, you are you were suffering from a case of white privilege. Or even blonde privilege. Whichever way you want to no, look at it. From, is it, is that, uh, uh, well, he's suffering from entitlement, really. I wouldn't really say it's a privilege. But, I mean, obviously... You know, you you can't murder somebody and smile and it's okay. That's yeah. not ha – that's just – oh, my God. No, unless you're some rich fucking kid in Oklahoma who – Yeah, then I, then I immediately thought about that kid. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it was like, no, maybe privilege was the wrong word. Entitlement d it does seem to fit it a little bit better. It was like, no, kid, fuck you. Fuck and you, kid. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, you're some white blonde kid. That's great. You have fun in prison because you're going to be in protective custody for a very, very, very long time. They won't let you in the general population because the general population tends to murder kid people who, you know, touch kids, people who rape kids, and people who kill kids. That's what will happen to you. Yeah, because even evil has standards. And and the guards, you know, aren't very scrupulous because the guards hate criminals like that too. So yeah. you know. There, there is a reason. I, I think it's even a trope. Rape is a special kind of evil. Mm. Child rape, even more so. That, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's the only way you could be worse, kid. That's the only way you could be worse. But you're bad enough. That makes that makes me happy that he that he did get all that time. 
Yeah, uh, that, uh, that is great. It's like, yeah, you sit in there, you rot for a quarter of a century at, you know, minimum. Minimum quarter of a century. Maybe when if you get you, out. You make it 25 days. Yeah, yeah, you make it 25. Yeah, you make it 25 days. I'll kick somebody in the taint. You know, just watch me. Uh, and our last story. Now, I mentioned, we mentioned earlier, you know, we brought up two is moving to greeny country, Colorado. Well, legislation approved by our good old friends in the House – our good old friends, the House Republicans, would seek to force President Barack Obama to crack down on marijuana in states that have made the drug legal for medicinal – for medical or recreational use. Wait, 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 wait. So it's states' rights when you don't want dumb gays getting married, but there's no states' rights when they do something that you don't like. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 I need a sounder. I don't have a sounder. I must get a sounder for the hypocrite alarm. Because, hi, guys, that's what you're doing. That's the so bad. The house but, has... But it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to come to anything. You know why? Because I heard that just in the first few months of this legislation alone, Colorado took in something like 2 or $3 million in surplus taxes from there you this. Go. It's going nowhere. Yeah, I've I've heard that Florida is trying to legalize it. I haven't seen any news to the to prove or disprove it yet. But I I'll... think I I've always been behind this, Minda. I think it's a great idea. Tax the shit out of it, like you do with cigarettes and alcohol. I'm good yeah. with that. Yeah, that, why you see not? The, you see the picture of the uh, of the Girl Scout who set up her her cookie stand right outside of a dispensary. <laughs> that's making the rounds of that's that's brilliant. That is a good idea. Oh, we need – you know what, Florida? We need to legalize it. I, I will do whatever I need to, open up a marijuana – you know, a legal marijuana shop or whatever, and, and I will make a killing, and the state can well, make a killing with me. I saw this thing, and I can't remember if it was on Cracked or if it was a, it was a Facebook share or something like that, that you know, now in now in you know Colorado, and I think it's Washington, right? Mm hmm Okay, that they have like pot tourism. Like you go to like you know this place it's like a five star um, restaurant and you get high you know, like they have vaporizers right? and you get high first and then you have like you can pick different courses and stuff like that and so you can really like enjoy the food and stuff like that and I I think that's a great idea that is that would be awesome you someone know, we have some article about it somewhere yeah we need we need to make we need to make again again I'm gonna say it again pot make it legal in Florida. Not only have the marijuana cigarette type shop, but also like you were saying, the you know, the, the the vapor and then the restaurant. That would be awesome. That'd it's be not great. one of those. It's not one of those uh, marijuana vapors expensive. at the Circle Grill. That would be great. <laughs> it be it would be expensive. Yeah, but you know, but it'll be worth it. Totally be worth it. Yeah, like oh, that would be good, like a good honeymoon kind of thing, or like you know, a ten year anniversary. Let's go to pie, you know. <laughs> have yes. you tried the Have you tried the quail eggs? I know, right. Well, because I read, I think this was a, and I, I follow, I'm on Reddit, so I, I follow all this, the science subreddits. But they found out the reason why you get hungry and want to eat snacks when you're high is because the way that the cannabinoid THC bonds to your brain, it, there's a, someone go find the actual um, thing and read it because I think I'm paraphrasing very poorly, but it changes the way that you perceive that you that your senses work a little bit mm -hmm. so you you perceive the, the the sensation of tasting and smelling and eating a food to be more pleasurable than normal like it's more food e hmm. there's a scientific reason but i forget it so well I'll yeah it. well i would hope there would be a scientific reason <laughs> but i was like huh that's interesting yeah so uh, to, to get back to the article real quick, I wanted to cut, touch on a couple of other things. Uh, let's see. Uh, the House passed the Enforce the Law Act by a vote of 233 to 181 on Wednesday. Bill was introduced by Representatives Terry Gowdy, Bob Goodlatte, Daryl Issa, and Jim Gerlach. Somebody from your state, by the way. Hey. Yeah, Jim Gerlach from Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to allow Congress to sue the president for failing to faithfully execute laws. Is is that the I, I didn't think. Well, first of all, it have to it have to get through the Senate, and it's going to die in the Senate. Yeah. And second of all, you can't do that. You can, it's either all or nothing. You're either for states' rights or you're not. You know, you can't just whenever it's convenient for you. That's not how that works. Yeah. I mean, and and of course, 
Now, of course, if a state's rights issue is something that's going to be, oh, say, you know, keeping people from being equals in the law, you know, such as the anti-LGBT laws and, and, and the unequal marriage rights and all of that, that's when your state's rights can go fuck themselves. But if there's well, see, some that's, kind of discrimination that's a, that's a going on no, – That's on. dangerous precedent to set though right. because think about all the states that are you know, ignoring the, the Medicare part of Obamacare. That's law. It's the law now. So they're technically violating the law, but Obama's not doing anything about it because technically, okay, states' rights. So they're opening themselves up. Like if this were potentially to go to the Supreme Court, they're really opening up a can of worms here hmm. because this this is a two this is a double edged sword. It can go back the other way in a way that they don't want it to go. So right. tread carefully. Right. Happens. Yes, and and of course, Majority Leader Harry Reid has said in a statement that the bill would be dead on arrival in you know in the Senate. And Obama has threatened to veto it because it violates the separation of powers. What I want yep. to know is, you know, the president is it is it really his job to faithfully execute laws? Is it his alone? Um, no. As far as I'm remembering from my civics classes, <clears throat> he's the commander in chief of the military. Mm -hmm. So my 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 uncle, the history teacher, well, the giant history teacher, would always say. Basically, if, if the president well, was Clinton at the time, he said, President Clinton came in the room right now, what would you do? I said, I'd stand up. And I'd say, Mr. President, hello. And he goes, that's true, but would you have to stand up? And I was like, yes, it's polite. He's like, it's polite, but you're a citizen. You're not in the army. The only people that he can technically command is the army. And I was like, oh. So I think the, ju the judiciary branch of the government is charged with in-law enforcing. So really... I don't know, you know. If anyone knows, let me know because I yeah. don't. <laughs> yeah, that would, and it's that would not be... like he can. It's not like he, like they expect him to go out in the street and like rip joints out of people's mouths and be like, "I'm so disappointed in you, fellow yeah. American." Yeah, it's like really, really just, just no. And you, you can't do that. You cannot do that, GOP. You cannot do that here or there. And wait, wait, it's just there. There was these guys, and I think, I, I think. Um, yeah, I think on the last constructive deconstruction we brought up the Return of Kings. They both they those guys and the GOP are similar in that they're not really hiding things anymore. You know, their 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 true colors are coming out more and more and more, and we're seeing this, and people are getting pissed, and we're wanting to just you know shove things into their taint sideways. You know, well the I, GOP is just so desperate to 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 tar and feather Obama in 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 the the eyes of history, and really it's just not coming together like they thought. And it's just the point they don't give a shit anymore. The the original political point is gone. It's all about winning, and yeah. it's kind of pathetic because we're paying for this. Like I did my taxes like you know last month, so I already have my return. Mm -hmm. But we're paying for this. Every single one of us is paying because time is money. We're paying our government to dick around and do busy. Like you know, if you're at your job and you like just want to do busy work until the shift is done, and you're like, haha, I get paid to do nothing. Well, no. No, not, not especially not something as important as running the goddamn country. Listen, Congress, you've got time to lean. You've got time to clean. I'm just saying. Yeah, pretty much. You know, if you don't have anything better to do, we can find you. Something to do, yeah, you as know my, what? My old manager would say. Yeah, guess what? You know, there are still things that should be legalized that aren't because of one reason or another. You know, hi, you know, there's prostitution. We can make that a federal legalization. I mean, we can legalize that federally. Work on that. Or you know what? Make make make. Marriage equality federally across the board, legal, you know, make, you know, gay people can get married to be recognized in every state and fuck your state's rights in those cases. Because again, that, like well, I was saying earlier, where you were telling me to, to yeah, where you were telling me to tread a little carefully there, I, I do want to reiterate that when it comes to equal rights, rights that people that should have in this country because of laws that have been written beforehand, such as 14th Amendment or whatever, you know, you can't use those to discriminate against a group of people, especially for religious reasons. Well, the good thing is, and uh, Hagen said this at the time, and I was just annoyed that we didn't get our way. And so that last year's Supreme Court decision has had a lot of effect. And it, 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 every single state, there's there's lawsuits coming out of the barrel now. And slowly, state by state, you know, judges are saying, I can't rule against the Supreme Court. There's precedent for this. I can't do that. And it'll, and you know, some states are like, fine, you know what? We're not going to fight it. That's, that's cool. It's we, we have a, we can't win the case. So whatever. 
And some yeah. states are like, no, we will fight in, even if we have to kill every puppy in the state. You know, gays will never get married. But the thing is, eventually it will come to the Supreme Court again. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. But I don't care because I'll be in the UK where Hagen and I have legally been married since Friday in England and Wales. Sweet. Scotland, Scotland's got royal assent, but the law's not gone into effect yet. And Northern Ireland is basically Alabama. So, you know. <laughs> words not mine, not mine. <laughs> she said it i didn't northern ireland is alabama i like with less it. guns and more jesus that's what she said with less guns and more jesus wait northern i thought northern ireland would have more guns and, and less jesus yeah but it's not like america where there's gun, like guns all over the place Good like point. Ter- terrorists of guns and stuff i think ah okay so so okay <laughs> I would just – that's the first – I, I would wager to say time. that per capita, there are less guns in Northern Ireland than there are in Alabama. You're probably right. I could probably go up to Dothan and almost every citizen up there that, that would be legally allowed to have a gun would have a gun. Probably. And that's not counting the illegal ones. Oh my gosh. I just had a terrible thought to the story about the kid who, who beat the baby to death. Uh-huh. How long is it going to be before so, – well, that baby was armed. Oh god. If somebody does that, I will find them and I will stab them in the taint with my big fucking TV. I don't know how, but I'll do it. <laughs> I will do it. <laughs> just, just, either, just they, either their taint is huge, but your TV is very small, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, trust me. I will find a way. Uh, I, I, will, I will find a way. Mm. Oh, but on that note, we are coming up on time. So, um, so yeah, this has, been, this has been an interesting week. <laughs> See, that's what you get when you have me on. Yes, and we have the stories that we do. Shit's always getting real and going down. Yes, always. So uh, before we head out, I, if I don't tell you before you leave, you have a safe trip over to, I over to the UK. And, and, and again, give Hagen a big old glomp from me. And if she listens, she'll be, she will probably be, be expecting it. <laughs> she'll be like, aha, deflected. Yes. <laughs> Hagen wins, fatality. Yes. Oh, so so. Anyways, if we want to find Omega on social media, where can we find her? I'm in the Omega Geek on Twitter. Uh, there is an Omega fan page on Facebook. You should totally like it because stuff happens there. Uh, my stuff can be found on Nerdvice on RT Prod. I have a .com, which is the Omega Geek .com, and you can find Lesbian Talk on iTunes. Well, some of them I'm working on that, but usually weekly on that guy with the glasses .com. Yay! And of course, Lesbian Talk also on on my site rtgomer.com Lesbian as well. Talk. Yes, and and I thought you were gonna have it on Nerdvice as well. Uh, did and we are because I have to talk to Vera about that because I was told how to put things on and then I screwed it up the one time and then what's his face uh, had to do it and then so I I always forget because the process is complicated so. Uh, well, it's not that it's not that hard. <laughs> no, because the the new but now that there's the new thing on how to do it, but she said like don't publish it right away because it'll jump the queue. But then yeah, I was told Patrick told me to publish. I, I have to talk to her. Yeah, it's on it, Nerdvice. I'm working on that. It's, uh, yeah, the, though they will there will be the catching ups on the Nerdvice and everything, but that is that is in the works. Uh, speaking of Nerdvice, that is another place you could find me. Yay! And, and some of my videos. Yes. And, of course, you find me on my own site, rtcomer.com. And you can also, again, like I said earlier, if you want to toss money at me for production value increases and all of that, uh, patreon.com slash gomer21xx. Incidentally, gomer21xx is also where you can find me on Twitter and Tumblr. Yes, I I have the Tumblrs. And and not only does my site have a, have a, a Tumblr blog, but also mm-hmm. all three of my podcasts have one as well. Both Nerdvice and RT Gomer Productions do, do have their own Facebook pages. Go check them out, like them and everything. And also, a little bit of an extra shout-out here as well. Uh, my girlfriend is uh, Becky Hop, uh, Becky Hop 13 on Twitter. If you want to go find her, say hello to her and maybe see Becky about commissioning Hop, some. Yes, see about commissioning some stuff from her. She is a very talented artist, and she is an award-winning animator. Award-winning. And... Okay, I'll stop now. Yes. <laughs> It was like the, the, the Real American Heroes um, uh, commercials used to have. Real American Heroes. We're talking to you, guy who drank a beer. Yes. Remember that? That was great. I think so, yeah. But uh, but the best the best way to go to her and ask her for commissions is she ha- is go to her own Patreon page. is uh, patreon.com slash beckyhop. 
and it's B-E-C-K-Y, in case you, you know people are wondering, wait, which is slow with two Ks? Does, 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 does she does spell it a different way, you know? That there are there are different ways to spell it, so anyway, go go commission her. It is it is awesome, very much worth your time. If you look at my Pokemon Quartz uh, run, that artwork is by her. <laughs> so so again, award winning animator. Mm. And she would argue that yeah, she is, but so is the person who did Chirpy. Oh. <laughs> I to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's a trooper. I dragged her to see that at Magfest. She's a trooper. Yeah, you did. That's true. Yes. <laughs> oh, so on that note, again, thank you guys for listening. We will catch you the next time. And until then, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian with the Omega signing off. Thespian Talk is an RT Gomer Productions presentation. Check us out at rtgomer.com.